Black Lightning is back, even though we never knew he was gone. I am Ruben and I'm reviewing the Black Lightning TV series. Black Lightning's back. The Black Lightning TV series has just aired its first pilot in USA on the CW. On the CW. See, this is the fifth series to be added to the DC TV series. You got The Flash, The Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, and Supergirl, which wasn't originally on them, but they brought her over and what's happened so far is there's as the the tv series have developed in their storylines and characters they've done um i think two or three times now a crossover with into each other's universes um if you were getting your hopes up unfortunately that's not going to happen not in season one anyway of black lightning because they really want to flesh out this new character and um, give it time to develop their own storylines and their characters before they consider um, crossing over. So anyway, Black Lightning is about a, um, a an, an ex-superhero. Um, uh, the story starts off as he, Cress Williams, plays this character, this headmaster and family man who has given up the mantle of being Black Lightning. Um, mostly be down to his wife seeing him being beaten every night and then finally got to one stage in his life where he was just about dead and his wife said enough is enough and how the arc evolves is that his old enemies uh the 100 gang are now are now because of the lack of his uh, seemingly the lack of his superhero presence um they the, the gang have really the gang were really kind of taken over really there's there's brothels there's the the gangs coming into schools and taking um girls to become um in the sex slave industry yeah quite a dark theme i told you to get out my face chris william plays black lightning and he's generally done lots of tv um i have to say that he's really strong in this role he plays the character the a, a tortured character of um like multiple worlds of being a headmaster of being a husband and a father and also wanting to pick up the mantle again of being Black Lightning. Um, now we haven't seen the entire series, but thankfully Netflix have given us a few episodes to review. So Black Lightning is going to be on Netflix. Yes. Yeah, so in the UK, you don't have to wait very long to see this. And um, that'll be the pilot episode. So we'll only be one episode behind. But from, from what we have seen so far, it has some really strong themes um, that I you could compare it to Marvel's Luke Cage. I don't like your tone. Uh, where it's it's kind of about what's going down in their community. Predominantly an African-American cast, which, and I think they're all great. There's no real weak links apart from um, the daughters of the family. Excuse me. There was nothing that resonated with me with their characters. Um, as we see more episodes, maybe um, that'll change. But for now, I feel like they're the weakest characters in the TV series. <laughs> Um, uh, filming wise it looks really good it's, it's um, fantastically filmed um, they they do quite brave shots their techniques I would say are very different to flash and very different to arrow it's, it's kind of like a middle path there they've taken this dialogue from the flash that can be quirky and funny at times but then quite a serious nature in arrow at other times and I think that's a great thing I'm really hoping that they do their own thing and they're brave enough to continue uh, doing different camera techniques and, and the cinematography steps out and continues to have this kind of dark theme because I don't think you can um, step away from what's happening uh, to just make light of it would be a really kind of silly way to go so although there are lighter mo moments in this area so far it does seem to have a darker theme um, there's the, the the special effects are pretty good um, I, I'm in two minds about the this part so the black lightning hero himself he's got electricity powers um they haven't delved much into his background yet about how he got them and you know that kind of real origin story which i guess is nice they just jump straight into it james remar plays peter gamby who is his kind of mentor and classes the as chris williams or black lightning as almost like as a surrogate son um he's a really strong character in this and i was really happy to see him when he arrived on screen because i felt like it, it, it lacked something just something to solidify this hero character and there it was the alfred type gadget man he needs someone to talk to to bounce off to and someone that you can trust and they have this relationship that's 
very evident um, that's evident already already on screen that he trusts and they trust each other and I think that comes together um, that's not always easy to get uh, when you come together with new actors starting off a new series and I think this is one relationship that plays off really well on screen um, they look really so they look really good together they act really well together they, you feel comfortable watching them uh, which I th which I felt was uh, a really good point uh, you wanted to give the people hope a not so good point um, sometimes you get TV series or films that steal bits of things from other shows or films there was one particular scene where it was it was gearing up to an action sequence or an a, a, an angry sequence where they blatantly just uh, took a bit of the Dark Knight from Christopher Nolan's Batman theme uh, you, you'll notice it I'm not going to tell you where it is I, I because I don't want to be one of those people that goes, ah, oh, he's Dave stealing. But <laughs> it, it it took me back because that's gonna be one of my theme things. My, my, one of my things that I say. It took me back because, but th I was taken back because there was this bit from Batman, and I had to double take what I was hearing because there was this Batman bit, and my mind went, oh, Batman. Why is that in? I remember hearing Gladiator, the Gladiator theme tune um, in another film as well. And that took me back. And there's some there's some music that's just so well known to be Superman's or Jaws, Jurassic Park. And there was this bit that they put in Black Lightning. That I just thought that was a bad idea. You need to, need to establish your own thing. And talking about establishing your own thing, there's this... I guess fade to black. Whenever CW go to an advert break, they'll have a, a fade to black, and the black lightning's back. I think four or five times in each episode so far. Black lightning's back. They do this thing where they go black lightning's black. It's like a little rap. Black lightning's back. And the first time I heard it, I thought that was weird. Black lightning's back. Second time I heard it, and they go, okay, they're doing that again. Black lightning's back. And then in the third and fourth time with each break. They did this. Black Lightning's back. It was just weird. Um, I don't know why they've chosen to do that in the editing. Don't think you need it. Um, the fact that Black Lightning's Black is established in the episode, in the pilot episode. I don't know why you need to do that with every episode. Um, hopefully that's not a continuous thing further along the other episodes. Uh, so there were just a couple of things that I thought... It's like they need to find their feet. So there are a couple of things that are not quite right. They need to flesh out some characters. Uh, give them deeper backstories. We need to. We definitely need to know more about Black Lightning, but I'm sure that'll come. But so far, Chris Williams has done an amazing job at being husband, father, Black Lightning, and um, a hero, anti-hero, coming back to what he once was. And the threat is real in this society, and you feel it. They do touch on themes that are relevant for today. So the whole cop thing where people are, um, well, especially in America, I believe, where there are a lot of policemen from what we can see on the media and how they portray it on Facebook and YouTube. There are a lot of clips that show the brutality of cops towards um, African-American people. And so they touch on that in this. And I, th I thought that was... It's a good thing to be relevant from, from where we are at in the world now. So I guess the scriptwriters have chosen to do that on purpose. But I did wonder, and maybe you guys can comment in the comments below, and maybe I'm just going off on a tangent here, but I did wonder if this would incite any more kind of fear or hate or anything like that because you're showing it on screen and you're seeing it in real life. And if you're getting it from every corners of your world that this type of stuff happens, then... Um, I don't know if that's a good thing. But then again, it's just, most people would say, it's just entertainment, and, you know, entertainment doesn't actually affect you. You should be able to separate it. But if film and TV don't influence you, don't emotionally engage you, then what are you watching it for? So I thought that was an interesting way to go. Um, let me know what you think. It's, it's a really interesting story. I'm looking forward to see what they can do with it. So far, it's really good. Just a kind of couple of tweaks I'd personally change, but I think the acting's good, and Chris Williams is fantastic. A really fun addition to this kind of ever-evolving TV series world hero verse that everybody seems to be so besotted with. Thanks for watching this review of Black Lightning's back. No, Black Lightning. <laughs> um, I'm Ruben from the Ruby Tuesday, and we've got loads of other reviews coming up. 
so do stay with us. If you're new to the Ruby Tuesday, please like, subscribe, and why not think about hitting that bell, which is somewhere on your video if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, if you're watching on our other social media pages, thanks for joining us, and uh, we love to chat to you guys in the comments below, so do chat to us. Thanks. Bye. On the CW. On the CW. On the CW.